What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing and welcome back to Tekken 7. We are on with um, obviously the third day of the week this this far. So we might as well start off the new character segments with technically a returning character, because it's got the same fighting style, but also a new one at the same time. Today is going to be Master Raven. The reason why I've got a fucking door. I'm not even gonna mention it. You'll understand, you'll know. You'll all know. I could be even upload these oops, in a random order, and I should have done that. By like doing across like the character listing, they're not just in a random order like the book order. Just doesn't make sense that way. But either way, difficulty still on. I changed the difficulty up from normal from yesterday. I didn't want to do it on easy, I thought it was too easy to do. But normal should give me like a little steady adventure towards the end. Take it nice and slow, then we should be all good to go, to be honest. So it should be all right. I'm gonna have an easy, relaxing time while playing this game. Although the grabs are probably gonna do my head in, and do them a lot, a lot more than what I should be doing anyway. But oh well. I feel like I already know how Master Raven plays, so I feel like it's a bit different. Not a bit different. Um, she seems to have a different fighting style than Raven does. Like some of the things that she does is a little bit different to what Raven does. Like, I know a few moves I can do with her that I could never do with Raven. Like that. I can. I don't think I could do that with a normal Raven before. So I do believe Master Raven is a little bit better than Raven. But we'll find out if they ever turn out in the same game. Which I do believe it will happen at some point. Maybe not the next one. But probably will happen in the, in the future. Maybe even have a bonus character. Yeah. I like Tekken 5 the way you kind of like buy a third costume for the characters and like Yoshimitsu gave you the Tekken 3 costume and buying Christie's gave you Eddie's ending as well as so that's a little bit different um how I hope your affairs are in order ooh okay I don't know if that was characters speakings or not not 100% sure on that one. Either way, I wonder, I wonder how many freaking medium fights I'd have to win if I get to, had to get to like the next Dan. I think what it said is if you play in offline arcade, I I think it said you can't get past the first Dan. So that might be a thing because obviously all these guys are nowhere near the same level as the ones in the treasure battle, which is a little bit different. Wow, annihilate him. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. She even seems better. Like she even acts better than Raven, which is a little bit just strange. I don't. Understand. I, I still don't understand why they put her in it instead of the original Raven and made Raven a little bit better. Like his training took him to a new level. But no, to bring in an entirely new character, so that if there is a Tekken Tag Three, there's going to be a fucking near like seventy-five characters to play as, unless they're trying to make it to a hundred for the next time. Jesus Christ, so it was nearly, it was just overpassing the threshold of 6 the last time. It's just so strange. It's going to look cool though. The next Tekken Tag game is going to look amazing. Looking forward to it. I don't know how often they're going to be doing it though. Because if it's likely, likely to be doing it before, after Tekken 3 they released one, after Tekken 6 they released one, and now obviously the story is just continuing. So I never thought there were going to be one after this. After number 6. It just didn't feel like there were, but obviously there is. But now, is I don't think this is the final one. They may have said it's the end of the Mishima bloodline, and it really is. It was something like about the Mishima story, but obviously that's all ended now. It's all about Jin and, and Kazaya. The Kazama bloodline still needs to pick in. Because we've ended his bloodline. We know how his all came down to it. Obviously, we've got from the other side now, from the angel side. I need to wait, it needs to explain why Jin has feathered wings and not leathery wings. Like his girl, like his daddy. Like his good old daddy. Sorry, I'm just bored. Mm -hmm. Round one. Can't. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing a new game because obviously this game, playing it all the time like I did when it first came out was really, it's not made it boring, it's just 
got repetitive, if that makes sense. So I, it's just like a normal fighting game now to me. There's no hype anymore. I'm just playing it because of what I put myself Round forward two. to. I could have made this a little bit better, but at least we're moving on with these quite quickly and quite efficiently. So we're all good in that aspect. But I don't know. It's like I know with Hyrule Warriors as well, it's been like not been going on for a few weeks. That's because I've not had the Wii U in my possession. And it's been in someone else's hands for the time being, but we should be okay the next time or this Friday when we record it. I don't feel like we're gonna be missing it. So we should be all good. It should be all good for it. <clears throat> I have no idea what we're gonna be doing it for it though. Like at all. I don't know where it's gonna take us. Did I fight I can't remember. No idea. I don't know if it's the first time you see a Kuma or a second time. Maybe it like, depends on which people you choose. Like, if you play it after you've done the storyline, maybe it's a Kuma with certain characters. And not just always Kazumi. Just seems strange. I think all the new characters probably have Kazumi. I don't know. I've not played as Lucky Chloe. We'll find out this Sunday. See, now I'm trying to think about the darkness too. I'm trying to figure out... Or what I want to do with it or where to take it. Because I'm not 100% sure on what to do with it. You know what's going to be really fucking weird? Because I've got two Project Zero games. Two Project Zero 2 games, sorry. One for the PS2, which I've been recording for the hour ones that you saw yesterday. And I've also got the ones that I do. Oh, I've also got the Wii one, which I'm also going to record. But, again, don't have the Wii to record that. I'm only wanting to record it because uh, my Wii doesn't have the save file anymore, I don't think. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to restart it again. But it's going to be like... <coughs> so convoluted. I know it's like a completely different... It's, it's not the same... It's the same story. A different game style. So like, things work a little bit differently. So it might be a little bit weird doing that at the same time as Project Zero 2. Or whatever the thing throws at us, we'll do it. I don't mind. Could be anything, really. Or anything out of the list I've got left Fight. at least because it could be quite a while away since we do that it could be 10 years from now i doubt i'll be doing what i'm doing now when i'm 30 fucking two screw that although even the youtubers these days are in their 20s so in their late 20s so i don't see that much of a problem with it i need to try and bring this back this dude's fucking wrecking my shit after this should make it more to an even playing field if they're in a rage state, or like close to the rage state, they do, you do more damage. Oh shit. I couldn't avoid that one. I could not avoid that one. That's the only problem with this. They do it like, with him, with the AI for this character. They do it fucking instantly. So it's horrible. Very, very horrible. Oh god. How long? How old is Street Fighter anyway? Is it older than? I think it is the oldest fighting game, isn't it? Like, it, it should be rivaling. Like, I know these days it rivals Tekken, but in the olden days, I think it was rivaling Virtua. Virtual Fighters. I remember that being a thing. That's, that's the MCK team. Namco Capcom. That'd be a great thing. What, what, right, Namco bought out Bandai, didn't they? Or was it the other way around? Or did Bandai buy out Namco? I doubt fucking Bandai bought out Namco. I know it's Bando, Bandai Namco. Or Namco Bandai. One of the two. So I know now the people who make Tekken also make Dragon Ball Z. And also another one. That I like playing a lot. Cannot remember what it is. But anyway, we're not. I thought, I thought that was the end. <coughs> we're not done yet. As you can tell, my voice does sound a little bit groggy today. I have been doing a lot of, a lot of stuff recently. Okay. Yay! This weekend. All right. You can see a lot of cleared. That's probably why I wasn't going to mention anything earlier. All right. Let's read through this again. As an agent for the UN's intelligence bureau, Master Raven embarks on her latest top secret mission: infiltrate the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven and confront her assigned target. In the frozen area that was to be her battleground, Master Raven stood. Arms folded, face to face with her subordinate sworn enemy, who simply narrowed his eyes and took up a fighting pose. And the problem with it loading. 
fucking joyous. Need to be careful now what is being recorded or not because. As you've already guessed, I've had to redo this. But the only reason why I've had to huh. is the microphone. Is because um, when I had my fan on, obviously, when recording it, and somehow it didn't record the microphone and recording my computer microphone. So therefore, it sounded like disgusting bubbly noises, noises. Which does sound disgusting, to be honest. Because it picks up so much sound, the. the um, the um oh what the fuck is it called now the laptop one because it's got no filter and obviously the normal microphones do this one obviously has high sensitivity because you can hear the pop crackle pops which are there obviously i think the other one's got more of a pop filter around it so it's all good but you can hear the pop crackles and it's not ideal for what you need at least it's not as bad as the blue yeti though that is a very sensitive microphone and I believe, I told, I've been told a lot of times not to get it by a lot, even the big troopers say don't get a blue yeti. It may be a like, good studio quality, but it's really not. So it's just a cheap studio quality thing. So people think it's really good. But when you have like a better microphone, it's like, oh wow, this is amazing. But you probably, I probably yeah, will try and get a decent microphone already. But all I really need to do for my own is just buy a pop filter I can go around it. This dude's fucking kicking my ass. If I just, like, try and block all his attacks, I'll just fucking annihilate him now. Fuck. Well, this has made this very problematic, and I could not block. Wow, that's the first time I've actually lost on one of these freaking character things. Very strange. That's, that, that is new to me. Very new to me, but alright. <clears throat> could I change the difficulty there? Or not? I didn't think I could. So this is, like, a guaranteed difficulty then. I just need to be better at fighting. I'll get myself fucked, you dragon off, and not might get myself distracted too much. Why the fuck is he kicking my ass? I did this perfectly fine yesterday. What the hell? Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Come on, I want to get these things done, so I want to try and get next week sorted. Before next week he's here, so I can get like a lot of shit done, because I'm going to do it one at a time like I should be doing. It. Oh, fuck you, dragon off. Fucking gay piece of shit. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for using that word. I know it's not an insult. Like, it depends who you are because if you're English or live in England, you know it's not said as an insult, like as a, like an insult to gay people itself. But the Americans, I don't fucking know about you guys. <laughs> you take th things way too fucking seriously. Way too seriously. You need to relax more. You live longer. That's all I know. <clears throat> Alright, one for one, Dragonov. It's just settles the debate. All over now, boy. Just me and you. And I've got my favorite character after this, which I'm gonna fucking wreck some shit. If I just block, would I get blow ever? No, never mind. I was saying I was might have been able to get perfect, but there's no point in trying to get some shit going as well. Alright, 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 bitch. Let me get up then. Dread, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to do a move. Didn't let me do the move. Okay. Is he gonna block this? This is a prick. Almost almost dodged it. It was a little weird spin move he did. But it's safe to say. Mission. Oh, you win. Or whatever. Not yet, really, so. Let's go see. <laughs> this is the guy that gave Raven all that trouble? Oh, he doesn't look happy, does he, Dragonoth? I like his little freaking finger flick. You'll see. This is like tank fire move. Master Raven. That's where you see Dragonov pooping fucking bricks. You can see how afraid he is of her. Just Raven needs retraining, like she said. But anyway, that is gonna be it for today with Tekken 7. As you saw just then, we can be we are going to be Dragonov tomorrow. See what happens when he wins the fight. But anyway. Nothing really much more to say. So, that does it for today. And as always, this is Rick Salite, signing out.